fire prevention program that started in the Susquehanna Valley and quickly spread across Pennsylvania is now getting picked up by another state. That's right. News says Harrisburg reporter Caitlin Smith tells us about a member of a local task force who's heading south. In 2005, 210 civilians died because of child set fires. This is Harrisburg Deputy Fire Chief Dan Solier talking to a group of mental health professionals. It's part of a unique program set up exactly five years ago right here in the Susquehanna Valley. And to a child, this looks like an exciting race car or something. Its goal is to stop kids from playing with fire and its purpose is to bridge public safety, police and fire with other social agencies such as mental health, children and youth and juvenile probation to work together as a coalition. Solier says if troubled kids aren't educated, an entire generation could be wiped out. Of every 100 people in the United States, 16 are children. However, out of every 100 people who die in fires, 23 are children. And here's another startling statistic for you. He says 85% of those young arsonists are under 5 years old. We're finding it more frequently than what we originally imagined. And it's not only here in Pennsylvania, but nationwide. After speaking at a seminar in Washington, D.C. earlier this year, Solier says he got calls from six different states interested in learning more about the program. In fact, he says officials in Georgia are flying him and a few others in for training at the end of the month. There might have to be tweaking on Georgia's part, but the protocol acts as a base of a program to build upon. And Solier says the protocol works. He says studies show a child in this program has a 90% chance of never playing with fire again. In Harrisburg, Caitlin Smith, News 8. And Chief Solier says he hopes the juvenile fire setting prevention and intervention program will eventually be used worldwide.